Welcome back, everybody. It's easy, easy tree gaming. This is our second build the best base video. I forget what I called the first one. <laughs> base builder video. This one actually is going to be a Town Hall 11, and this is an anti queen base. This is actually the finished pro product right here. This is what it's going to look like without the traps. And I'm getting right in my fast mode because this is in a times three. We went down to times three instead of times four. Last one was times four. It was a little too fast for us. So in times three, we're going to build the base. I'm going to explain exactly what we're doing. Why, now, a lot of people are going to ask, why anti-queen? I mean, out of all things, why would it be an anti-queen? Well, the queen walk is uh, such a dominant part of all these three-star attacks that you want, to you want to try to stop the very first part of the attack. If you can stop the queen during the queen walk portion of the attack, you will throw off the attacker so bad that they're not going to three star 90% of the time if you can stop the queen walk portion of the attack. And in order to do that, you have to do a number of things. You have to have a number of things go your way because if, especially if they're attacking, like this is a Town Hall 11, 10.5 uh, is no eagle artillery. So if you're attacking a, a Town Hall 11 or a 10.5 with a max queen, level 45 queen, uh, she's strong. She's gonna have four or five uh, healers. You can have an experienced player uh, they, they, They'll they'll know to use the rage spells. They'll know when they'll know when to add other troops to help uh, Distract some of the defenses so you can't just pile defenses in one area. You have to do a number of different things But the first thing we're going to do is we are going to have several different areas of the base that when the Queen walks up to it, she's going to have to deal with four or five defenses shooting at her at one time. So we start off, uh, like like I start off all bases, I actually start off with a clan castle in the middle, and then I start off with four bricks, and those four bricks kind of show me the range of the clan castle, it's just the way that, I, that I've always started off every base. And then we start off with one corner, and you see those six defenses up in that one corner. It's actually the double cannon, wizard tower, archer tower, two archer towers actually, mortar, and then we actually have a, a, a crossbow in the back of it all they all have different ranges so we have the wizard tower in front the two archer towers are kind of in back the the cannons right there in the middle the mortars in back because it has a, a little longer range so if the queen walks up into that area the first thing that's going to happen is if you can see already uh, we have three of the black balloons the three black balloons are going to go up there and kill off one maybe two of her healers so then she'll immediately not have the healer support that she really needs and then she has the wizard tower hitting her and the cannon's gonna start hitting her. Two arch, two archer towers start hitting her. The mortar dro starts dropping on her, and then the uh, then the crossbow starts shooting at her. At this point, she is in severe trouble, and they're gonna have to either um, use a rage spell, use the ability, try to save her that way, or they're gonna have to actually start the actual part, the full part of the attack early, and that's gonna throw off their timing. That's gonna change the entire attack. And so, mission accomplished, you've just made them do what you want to do instead of let them do what they want to do. And that's one of the main things when you're building your base is you want them to be able to look at your base, study the base, and then when, once they start attacking, for the base to force them to do what you want them to do. And you, you don't want them to be comfortable the whole attack, you want them to kind of be scrambling the whole attack. So that's kind of the goal here. Now, there's a, there is no one way to make these types of bases. But there are certain goals you want to achieve and one of them is you have to have big clusters of defenses This is not going to be um, Stretch your defenses out evenly throughout the whole base and, and try to see if uh, If you can slowly chip away at all the troops and it's kind of like the anti three star um, Concept no, this is a overpower in several different areas of the base and You know the first thing you're gonna kind of hope for is that they don't recognize what's going on because in a Town Hall 11, all the defenses, there's so many defenses that uh, there's quite often the attacker doesn't realize exactly how many DPS are in certain areas. Um, if, you'll, if you'll look up, it's kind of hard to see right here, but if you look up above the giant bombs in the top, very top of the screen, I have that little purple wall. That was, now that was actually where the giant bomb is. That represented where I wanted the queen to walk. And I have I made sure every single one of those defenses hit that one spot So that's something you can do is you can put a, a brick or you can put something there to represent where the Queen's gonna be And then you just make sure the circles for all the defenses Overlap that one particular area and now you, you have to think about what's gonna happen it, You know you can't just lay the defenses out and just hope it works because remember as soon as she starts walking She's gonna start taking out defenses 
so you have to make sure that she has plenty of targets that she can take that she has to uh, eliminate before she starts on the defenses and by the time she starts on the defenses all the defenses start hitting her at one time it's a, it's a key thing to try to get all these defenses targeting her at one time it's also a, it's also a key part of the attack uh, or the defense here sorry um, to consider what the healers are going to do um, I don't know how much experience everyone has with the Archer Queen walks but they we use them in my clan a lot we see them especially in the top part of the clan almost every attack almost every single attack that is a three-star attack has some kind of healer behind troop usually the queen and now with the slap being so popular you, know, you see it a lot with the witches too and and this is actually this can work for that too um, we'll just go off on a little side note while you're watching the build now this might be something you know you, you may want to watch a couple times I don't know how seriously you want to take it um, I build the bases all the time and so this base took me just over an hour to build I, we haven't tested it yet we're going to do that tomorrow and if things work out well we will have we will, we're actually planning on making a little video on that too to see, just to kind of show this is what we built this is what it did in war so you have kind of the, the, the full the big picture of it all so a few concepts to go go over now if you're in a town hall 11 then this is most likely stuff you're gonna know but you don't have to be a town hall 11 to want to build one of these types of bases you know the town hall nines have the archer queen town hall 9 can have an archer queen that's level 30 if you have a level 30 archer queen with four healers behind her and an experienced attacker with a couple of rage spells she can go quite a long way on your base so you have to be prepared for that and so what, what you'll do is you're going to change some of the dynamics of the base and instead of making the core really strong and that's what a lot of people do when they make their base is they they make the core really strong they, they'll put the town hall in the middle uh, a lot of people put the clan castle in the middle. Then they put the town hall right next to it. Then they'll put their inferno towers around it. Then they'll put the arch tower, the uh, the crossbows around it. And then they'll put the air defenses around it. And you kind of keep on uh, building out circles around town hall, going all the way out further and further until you've done putting all the pieces on. This is kind of just the opposite. We start off on the outside and work our way back in. And there's a reason why we're doing that too, because most people when they attack a, when they attack a base they will pick a spot on the outer walls that they want to try to pierce through the outer walls and then they kind of instinctively plow to the middle <coughs> Excuse me. they instinctively plow to the middle so the middle of this base isn't the strongest part of the base it's it's all the outer parts so once their troops are all in the middle now they're now they have to be that they're, now they're confronted with all of the defenses all the defenses are all around them and it's it's a it's a hellstorm. <laughs> I've, I've dealt with these types of bases while I've been attacking, and they can surprise you real quick, and you can get in a lot of trouble real quick. So now there's a few few parts of the base outside of just the overpowering groups of troops around the outside that you want to kind of uh, pay attention to, and one is your inferno towers. First rule is. At least for me and I know that people uh, I know people that don't agree with this but I'll tell everyone this over and over never have both your inferno towers set to the same thing if you have them both set to single target they will change their troop composition and they will bring troops like witches that spawn a lot of skeletons and the skeletons will overrun your single target inferno towers if you put them both on multi-target they will end up bringing a bunch of heavy troops. Uh, uh, they'll bring three or four golem, and those three or four golem will, basically, you know, or, or, or a bunch of giants, or they'll bring, bring a bunch of big troops to where those uh, the inferno towers will have a constant beam on a big troop, and it really won't be damaging it that much. So don't ever set those to the same thing. And then what I'll do is this is the war base. This is not a, the village. So we have a Tesla farm on there. A Tesla farm means I'm going to group all four Teslas somewhere on the base because this is not an anti three star type uh, base. Uh, here we go. I decided I was going to leave, and I didn't remember. Oh, I'm actually making a video. 
Um, this is not an anti-3, so I didn't separate the Teslas in the in the town hall. And the anti-3, you, you usually put the town hall on one side of the base and the Teslas on the other side of the base. And kind of make them choose, are, are you going to take the troops freshly through town hall or freshly through the Teslas? Uh, have them right next to each other. And then I have, look at all those uh, giant bombs. I have four giant bombs all right there in front of the Inferno Towers. And I know that if they're using the Grand Warden, they can use the Warden's ability and kind of get through all of those giant bombs without being hurt. If they time it all correctly um, and that's if they guess that that's where it is if it's the first attack because I have a lot of different locations on the base that those giant bombs can be in which brings me to my next point make sure when you're building your base regardless of what style base it is make sure you have a lot of spaces in your base you have to keep a lot of different empty spaces in your base you don't have to fill them they don't all have to be full, full of traps they, you, but you do need a lot of empty spaces because you don't want four or five little you don't want you don't when they look at your base you don't want them to see four or five areas that have two by two areas missing because then they'll know that those are the four or five areas where your giant bombs are you want there to be 10 or 20 areas that, that have it like right there I just looked at the uh, scout view and there's a bunch of areas where those giant bombs could be and I and that's for I do that for a reason now there's also a reason why I put the giant bombs right next to the inferno towers that's the multi inferno tower when that multi inferno tower is attacking the troops they're not they can't heal so as they are approaching the inferno tower the inferno tower hits all the troops it's it's hitting at least five troops the the, the giant bombs go off and they can't heal through it because they have the inferno tower beams on them so it's always a good idea to have those those giant bombs around the inferno towers because they can't heal through it with the exception of the warden uh, the, the warden can use his ability and then they can heal by using that um, Now something else that I'll do is I'm um, now right now. I'm kind of tinkering with some of these outside um, out, Outside trash buildings and what I'm doing is again. I, I don't want to make them all even and really easy to uh, Depict what's going on. So I'll move things around t to where I'm kind of playing that defensive psychology so they don't know what's going on they don't know what's where and um, they, they don't know if there's gonna be a trap there a spring trap a giant bomb they just don't know and I don't want to make it really obvious for them by evenly spacing everything apart and, they, and they'll be able to kind of guess okay look all these are evenly spaced apart there's nothing there's nothing there so I'll, I'll make sure I have them all moved apart I make it look really suspicious um, and move them away from the walls so it looks like there's something behind them so uh, there's also different areas on the bay on this base like if you look on the bottom right hand side of the screen right now There is one whole section that doesn't have any defenses in it at all There's two storages and then in front of those there's two pumps two dark looks or pumps and I'm Anticipating that they're gonna try to break through the wall right there. If they study the base They'll say okay look no defense right here. I can easily break through the wall right here so what I've done is I put all the, the small bombs there. So if they use wall breakers, they can e they they may have a wall breaker fail there, and then that's another thing that can really throw them off. Anything that will throw them off is 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 your goal here. So the anti queen base, you want to have groups of defenses that overlap with each other. So you'll have your wizard tower in front because it has the shortest range. Then you'll have your cannons next to it or behind it. Then you'll have your archer towers behind that. Then you'll have your crossbows behind it. The, the reason for that is that they can all hit the Archer Queen at one time and overpower her even with the healers there So here's one more look at the Town Hall 11 anti-queen base also good against the slap attack Second video in the series We've got another one coming out in probably two days We're gonna go back down to the small town hall. So if you guys are a small town hall level, don't worry We got another one coming up for you in a couple days So sub to the channel like the video if you like the video Build, build one of these bases for yourself. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Tell me what you think. So, till next time, take care, everybody. It's been easy.